what is up everyone and welcome back to another video so i recently i just received this in the mail let me show you what it is and i picked it up off of ebay and i actually got it for a pretty good price at least i say it's a pretty good price it was 35 dollars and it's the uh, light up emblems for my audi a4 v8 i have a bunch of tools that i'm going to be using to make these work properly when I turn on my light switch and I'm gonna show you all how to do it but first let's check if it works so I know that most of us are not experts at rewiring stuff so let me show you all or let me give you all a quick lesson red usually always means positive and black usually means negative I have this 9 volt battery right here and it has a positive or positive and a negative terminal I'm just going to put the positive, the red wire to my positive and the black wire to my negative to check if this lights up. So obviously it's not like at full force but it is lighting up. So now let's just, let me show you all to the rest of the equipment that you're going to need. Before I teach you all how to use the splicer, first let me teach you how to connect wire to these because this isn't going to be long enough to so it can it's not going to be long enough so you can make it function the way you want it to so basically the way I connect wire to another wire is just I use these things called shrinks or honestly I call them shrinks but I'll put a link in the description what the actual name is and all you want to do I don't have my peeling wires there in the car but you basically grab your pliers you're just gonna want to strip the wire and then you're gonna want to tangle this wire well you're gonna want to put this thing through this wire then you're gonna want to tangle the wire together so that it doesn't come apart and then you're gonna want to put this over the two wires and then you're going to want to apply some heat to this and it's going to bond so that no water gets into this wiring. Once you have your wires extended, this is the shrink. It's going to allow us to use this wire to tap into the positive terminal that's already on our cars, right? So this one, if you can see here, you can slide a wire straight through the side right here. The wire that's gonna slide in like this is gonna be the one from the harness that's already in the car. And this spot right here where you can't slide the wire in is where you're gonna wanna put the newly extended wire through. So you're just gonna wanna stick it all the way through. And then once you have this through, you're gonna put this other side onto the positive wire that we found and with some pliers you're just going to squish this metal part together and it's going to allow us to tap into that current that the car already has and once we have tapped into that current which is going to be the red wire we're going to use the red wire to tap into the current that's on the car then the black wire we're going to want to wrap it around our ground on the car so this now let's just go to the car and let me show you all how it's done
All right, so pretty much all I've done here is I took off the old emblem and I put the new one and I crossed the wire through here. I'm gonna make it look all nice right now, but I figured out a way to check if that lights up without the voltmeter. So let me show y'all. So pretty much over here, I have my negative and right here I have my positive. The negative, I'm gonna poke it at this, poke it there. And the positive, I'm gonna place it On the 10th number, it should say 10 right there. I'm gonna stick the positive into the 10 right here. And I'm gonna turn on the car lights and when you turn on the car lights, the emblem should light up at the same time. So once I put this on here, the fitment isn't that good, but I'm pretty sure it's not gonna fall. And I just passed the wire through here. I zip tied it to this passed it through here here are the two wires the positive and the negative then I tightened it right here the positive went to this the number 10 it's like a black and white cable that one right there pretty much all you do that metal thing that's on the splicer you just squish it you squish it with this and then this little blue tab you just flip it on over and you have power to it and then the negative one, I just passed it back here. Then I just looped it through here. And right now, I just wanted to show how I'm grounding this. Here's the wire. I stripped it so it could grab good contact. And right now, I'm just going to wrap it in some black tape and zip tie it so that it doesn't go anywhere. And then I'll just show you the finished product. All right, so here's the car with the daytime running lights off. This is the car with the daytime running lights on and here's the car with all the lights on. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe and leave your questions down below. I'll gladly answer them. So, Geo's out.